This is part 5 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to split a Razor component, HTML and c -sharp code into their own separate files. Take a look at this counter component. At the moment, both the HTML, which defines the user interface and the c -sharp code, which defines the processing logic are present in this single file. We want to separate them into their own respective files and there are two ways to do that. We can either use the partial files approach or the base class approach. First, let's take a look at the partial files approach. With the partial files approach, this HTML of the component remains in this file counter.razor and we'll move this c code into a separate file with name counter.razor.cs. .cs stands for C sharp. So to this pages folder, let's add a new class file. Name it counter.razor.cs. Take a look at the counter component in Solution Explorer. The file that we have just added counter.razor.cs is nested under the view file counter.razor. This is good because it keeps both the component files together. For some reason, if you don't like this nesting, you can disable it by clicking this button. Notice when I click the button, the files are no longer nested. If you want them to nest again, click the button one more time. Now, let's cut the c -sharp code from the view file and move it into this counter class in the code file. For these class members, that is these fields and this method to be available within the view file, we have to make this class a partial class. So at compile time, this partial class and the generated partial class of this counter will be combined. So the properties and methods that we have in this class will be available to the view file. So let's make this class a partial class. Since we have the c -sharp code in this file, we no longer need this code block in the view file. So let's delete that, save all our changes and then take a look at the browser. Notice on the home page, we have two instances of the counter and both of them work the same way as before. We have another instance at slash counter and even this works fine. We can also use the base class approach to split HTML and c -sharp code. So first, let's delete this partial class file counter.reza.cs. Let's add a new class file to the pages folder. Name it counterbase.cs. If you're wondering why did we name this class counterbase, well, this is going to be the base class for the generated counter component class. So we have the same name as the component counter and then used this word base as the suffix. And for this class to be the base class for a component, we have to inherit from the built-in component base class. This class is in Microsoft ASP.NET Core components namespace. So let's bring that in. Next, let's include the c -sharp code inside this class. Finally, we have to tell our component to inherit from this counter base class and we do that by using at inherits directive and then specify our base class counter base. At this point, if we build the solution, we have three errors. Basically, Visual Studio is complaining both the fields and the method are inaccessible due to their protection level. The reason we get these errors is because all these members within the class are defined as private and for this derived class to be able to access these members, they have to be at least protected. So let's change the access modifier for all these three members to protected. We have a successful build now. Let's reload the web page and quickly test. Notice the counter component works the same way as before. So there are two approaches to split component HTML and c -sharp code into their own separate files. We can use either of the approaches, but for the project that we will be building as part of this course, we'll be using the base class approach. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.